Hey YouTube, it's Lisa, and I'm going to do a comparison video between the Mac 217 and the Sigma E25, and they're supposed to be comparable. So please comment, rate, subscribe, and please let me know what you guys think and maybe what you would want me to do my next video on. So first off is the Mac 217 is, I believe, $22.50. And the Sigma one, I believe, is $9. So if the price is an issue, I mean, $9, $22, yeah. But the thing is, you can't get Sigma brushes in stores. So you have to kind of pay shipping. So shipping's probably like $5. So it's, mm, yeah, okay. So I've used both of these brushes and cleaned both of these brushes. The dirty, dirty one is the MAC, and this one is the Sigma, and the lengths are different. So the MAC one is stained, and that's kind of sucky, but, um, oh well, I mean, I use my brushes, <laughs> I guess. And the MAC one is a little bit denser. Turn them to the side. I think the MAC one flares out a little bit more. them straight and I think the Sigma one flares like frontwards more so I think these are very comparable they blend about the same the feel of them the Mac one is denser so it feels just a slight bit different but I think these are very comparable I think if you like Mac, go for the 217 just to try it because, I mean, this is the one brush that you could do everything with. It is a staple. I've talked to the Mac girls and all of them have like three or four. So, I think it's very good and I think if money is the issue, I would say go for the Sigma one and one of the brush rolls because you're getting a better deal. And I like both of these brushes and I'm going to be using them, so... That is my review and my comparison between the two. And they are very, very similar. Kind of squished together. Very similar. The MAC one is a slight bit shorter. Same thickness and handle, basically. This part is different on them. But I think they are very comparable. So, yeah. Thank you, comment, rate, subscribe, and thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you. Bye.